This video is going to be a quick look at the First United um, Methodist Temple in Chicago. Um, let's take a look at the Wikipedia right now. All right, located uh, in Chicago, as I said, the skyscraper, height of 173 meters. Um, they're saying the congregation, they, they give a history of the congregation, not interested. Um, Chicago Temple Building, here we have it. Um, completed in 1924. There we have a date. Thanks, guys, for providing us a date. I wouldn't mind a start date to the production of a building like this as well. I, I'm supposed to assume same year, or do we just leave that out? Because nobody knows, because there's no uh, photos of the construction of this place. Um, and I couldn't find really very many um, black and whites as well. So if you want to read more, you can um, pause it and check out this. But uh, let's look at some visuals. All right, the temple, the temple. It's got to be a temple, right? Got lots of interior. Uh, only really of a couple different sections. Um, I suspect there's probably a lot more to the building than uh, we are being shown. But I will show you what I found. And uh, anything old having to do with this place uh, visually is in postcard format. I just could not find anything from that uh, those first couple decades in the age of black and white. Nothing. Supposedly built in 24, right? Well, I would have liked to have seen a construction photo. I like when, when we get those. Yep. So what a, what a building, really, because we got a, it's a, basically a cathedral, but it's a high rise as well. And of course, it's going to happen in Chicago. You know, if you do any of this research and you're familiar with what Chicago really is, um, and some have, you know, gone, dug into the name, possibly the former name, old world name being Chilaga. Um, it's possible. And uh, Skyscraper City and just like, just the splendor of Chicago sitting on the Great Lakes. Uh, I think it's unparalleled. I think it's a, a serious metropolis of, uh, of the old world. All right, let's bring back that old world. Look at these. I love these. All right. Level of detail through the roof right just after world war one right have to gather up all these workers spanish flu going around throwing up a building in the meantime no visual evidence from that time at this point in time in the making of this video end of 2022 Yeah, there are so many like this. I think I'm going to do more of these type of videos with just to spotlight a building, and uh, the fact that we have such a sparse uh, narrative background on these is just—it's a shame, and it's—it's it's cause for uh, investigation. This is the reason why we need to look into this stuff and question the narrative, because we just haven't been provided um, a thorough enough explanation. For the, all of this, there's no excuse for there not to be any photographs of the construction of this place in 1920. Was it 24? I don't think there's any excuse for that. And then the interior finish here. Oh, so if it was completed in 24, that we were, but when are we supposed to assume it was? Uh, it was completed, or it was begun. The construction had begun. Can we at least get that date? Yeah. I always think they make the uh, mistake. Oh, this is one of the architects. Oh, I'll get back to that. Let's check the architects out. So the gentleman I just showed you supposedly is William Hollabird. Um, I checked out Hollabird and Root, and uh, there's not many uh, visual um, portraits of these guys, even though the work goes right up into the 30s. I think these guys are supposed to be Root, Root. I don't know, there's the one I showed you. We got Burnham in there, right? Just in case. I'm going to steer you into Burnham's direction. All right, Daniel Burnham. Did a video on him. Anyway, Hollabird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at all the buildings that are attributed to them. And then the list goes on and on and on. It's just... And of course, it's always just the architect, right? We don't... We don't given any allowances for uh, um, the builders. They must, are we to assume there's just droves and droves and droves of, of skilled uh, builders at the time? I think that is the, the assumption. Or the assumption is who cares? Who cares about the ones who did the work? Right. 
I know I bring it up all the time in the videos, but it's, it's to me it's a joke. It's a joke. I look at this kind of work, and we're not going to give these people credit. It's shameful. Right? We're going to give the one who did the drawing, but we're not going to give credit to the people who put this together. No thanks. Which just tells me. And who's taking credit for the actual work? That's, that should be the era of somebody's great-grandfather still alive today who worked on it, right? Chime in if anyone in your family worked on this building. Please do. Right. Hmm. Anyway, I wanted to share this one. This is one of the uh, the many anomalies of the past, uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, the sort of glossing over of the construction of these places. Uh, I have a few more. There's the top of it. So if you haven't heard of this place, you'd be surprised. When you start digging around into this old, old world business, you start to realize how much has been um, zapped. Right? How much has been, uh, and not enough has been filled in to give an adequate explanation. You just assume that you're not interested. That's what I think. Okay, this is on the altar in the, uh, in the, in the church there. Okay, so the first first Methodist temple, Chicago United First Methodist Temple, Chicago. More than meets the eye. Not enough information. Thank you for joining me.